What's up guys, it's Sabai from the Sabai Cartel, we're back with another video and today I just want to bring you guys a commentary, alright, on my thoughts, of course, on Iron Fist. First of all, let me just say that I'm a huge fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that uh, sort of uh, Netflix has in store and the reason for that is, it's because it sort of introduced me these characters that I didn't really know much about and now I know more about them. I mean, Daredevil, I knew a lot about Daredevil, you know, but I didn't really know his origin story that much as in like you know the characters around him and all that stuff luke cage i knew who he was didn't know much about him and jessica jones i didn't know anything about right so again i'm a huge fan of these marvel cinematic universe uh, series you know daredevil luke cage jessica jones and when i found out that we're doing a series for iron fist i was like fuck yeah because i knew who iron fist were was like i knew his actual name but i didn't know anything about the character i didn't know his real name i didn't know what was his power all of that good stuff i didn't know it had to do something with a fist because come on his name is iron fist like you know what i mean yeah okay let's start talking about iron fist because uh, so far from what i've seen in the internet it's got like a little bit of hate uh, i think i don't know you know maybe i just saw the wrong videos but um long story short honestly this is just one of the main reasons why i don't really trust critics when it comes down to video games, TV shows, and movies, critics just ruin everything for pretty much people, alright? Like, an average person isn't going to play a video game, watch a movie, or watch a TV series, and actually watch the movie to point out the things that are, like, bad with the movie. I just want to point out, you know, when I watch a TV series, right, I watch it because I want to see everything that I enjoy about the series. And, of course, if the series is bad, right, I just stop watching it, right? Th that's pretty much, you know, how I roll. Anyways... The first thing that I heard about Iron, Iron Fist, all right, which honestly didn't worry me that much, was it was in a, like an IGN video, right? And again, I, I really don't trust IGN when it comes down to reviews, man, whether it's a series or a game. But anyway, so that's another story for another day and another video. Um, they said that Iron Fist started out very, very slow, okay? And that's when I just clicked off of the video because I didn't know if they were going to have spoilers or not. And then the other day, like one day before Iron Fist came out, you know, there I was on YouTube just watching videos because, you know, as you guys know, I love watching YouTube videos. And I not only love making YouTube videos, but I love watching YouTube videos. And then this thing came out, and then it said that Iron Fist was like the lowest rated series on Rotten Tomatoes. And I was like, yo, what, what the fuck is this? Like, the series hasn't even come out to the actual general public, and now critics are saying that this thing is the worst thing ever. Like, y'all need to calm down. So I went into the series expecting, okay, you know, maybe this is gonna suck. Is it gonna suck? Probably not. And that's honestly how I just came out of the series, alright? I fucking love this series. I loved every single second and every single moment about this series. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the quote-unquote slow start, which honestly, I didn't think it was a slow start at all in general, right? The story, and again, I'm not gonna say any spoilers yet. Everything that I'm gonna say here, you're gonna see it in the trailer. But if you don't want any trailer spoilers, you know, then just, you know, click off the video. But the story starts out, you know, Danny Rand, he just shows up in New York, he's like, oh yeah, you know, I came from this place, or whatever, I know I've been gone for 15 years, but I'm here to take my fucking company back, and I'm here to look for some answers. And then, of course, obviously, he's gonna struggle, right, and he starts struggling, like, you know, these people, they don't think he's Danny Rand, they think he's some psycho or whatever, and, you know, he just goes through some shit, you know, he has, like, an obstacle, like, he just came back, and, you know, he, he wants to sort of, uh, you know, run his company and stuff, and find some answers of, you know, what happened to his parents and stuff, but, um, yeah, the man is kind of struggling a little bit, right? And, uh, honestly, like, the beginning episodes, you know, kind of, like, set that up. And the beginning episodes sort of, like, put you into his mind, right? And it put you into the mindset of, holy shit, like, he's going through some shit right now. He's struggling, right? The beginning episodes sort of gave me that emotion. I was like, oh my god, I'm loving this. I'm loving every second of this, alright? Um, but anyways, I didn't think this the start was slow at all in general. I, I mean... I guess it was a setup, you know, for the, like, action that was going to come in the future. But yeah, guys, honestly, for the most part, um, I, I just like the start. That was a terrible death right here. But then again, I don't really care about the gameplay. That, that was just, this is just some Overwatch gameplay I got in the background. But anyways, um, I, I didn't really care about the slow start, okay? I mean, let's talk about a Netflix series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay, that Netflix has. That was extremely, extremely slow, Daredevil. Season 1 of Daredevil was fucking awesome and I loved it, alright? But I just wanted Daredevil to get his fucking suit, alright? Like, I would, I didn't want him to stop putting a piece of clothing in his fucking uh, face and shit. I just wanted, when is Daredevil gonna get the fucking suit? He gets it at the end of the season. Like, just great. Oops, was that a Daredevil spoiler? Well, if you haven't seen Daredevil by now, honestly, it's not really a huge spoiler. Okay, that he gets a suit up by the end of the season. 
But anyways, if I spoil it for you, I'm sorry. I fucking hate it when people spoil shit for me. That's why I watched Iron Fist the first day it fucking came out. Actually, I started watching it at 3 a.m. I watched the first five episodes. I went to sleep like around 8 a.m. I think. And then I woke up the next day and then I just pretty much finished watching the series. But anyways, enough about that. Uh, let's get back to Iron Fist. Um, yeah, slow start. It's bullshit. Honestly, everything that happens in the beginning episodes feels amazing. And let me tell you guys why that is. When I watch these Netflix series, I feel like Jessica Jones did this in a very, very smart way, but Jessica Jones sort of lacks some action, and I feel like Iron Fist just has the perfect balance. You have the quote-unquote character development, or you have what I like to call the non-action scenes, and then you have the action scenes, okay? So, of course, you know, we all come to these series, you know, I guess you could say for the action, you know, people want to see Daredevil fight, people want to see Iron Fist fight, all that good stuff, you know, they want to see these superheroes in action, but... There's something that I sort of, you know, came to love more than the action, and again, that's what just happens after the action, like, uh, you know, obviously these series, for me, that were very, very entertaining when it came out to, you know, what happened before the action. And Marble Fist, I, I'm Marble Fist, lol, and Iron Fist just did this fucking perfectly, right? Like, there were scenes, when, you know, there were non-action scenes that were very, very great because it was sort of like adding to the plot or something, and, you know, it was like advancing the story and shit was happening and all that stuff, and then there were action scenes that were, of course, fucking amazing, and there was just, like, punching all over the floor and, I mean, all over the place and, and all that stuff, okay? I really, really like that about the series, and again, I feel like they just got that, you know, just sort of, like, perfectly. Another thing that I just loved about this series is the smoke and mirrors of it. Like, throughout the entire series, you know, you're like thrown all over the place. Like, just imagine that you're a beach ball, right? And there are sort of five people on the beach, and you're just getting thrown from one person to the other, right? Like, the series is like like a constant roller coaster of emotions, and I really do believe that's also one of the, you know, one of the reasons why, honestly, this is my new favorite uh, Netflix series from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Anyways, the series was just a constant roller coaster, like smoke and mirrors, like, oh, this is happening, you know, you think this is the bad guy, but then you find out this is the bad guy, but then, you know, this happens, and then that happens, and another thing that I just love about the series is that for every victory, right, there was sort of like a, a, a defeat, right, like every time a, a, a character would actually accomplish something, right, then another thing would happen, right, and every time, like, an, a, a question was answered, from that answer, you would get more questions, and again, god damn it, that is just something that I loved about the series so much, in every single episode, questions were answered, and then that answer sort of led me to more question, and the season finale, god damn it, like, the final episode of the season, what happens at the end, I was like, what is, what, what is this, what is going on, like, w w why is this happening? Like, what? what's going to happen in Season 2? Is there even going to be a Season 2? Is Season 2 going to be part of the Defenders? I loved Iron Fist. Iron Fist was fucking awesome. I would tell you guys to drop your thoughts in the comment sections below. But honestly, I really don't care if you guys hated it. Alright? Because I fucking liked it. And that's all that fucking matters. I fucking love Iron Fist. It's my new favorite series from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't care what these critics say. I feel like this is like a perfect series. You know? And of course, you're, you're free to disagree. Honestly, like, it, it, it's cool. But I feel like this is my new favorite series from the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Netflix. I mean, Darius Devil Season 2 was amazing, but it sort of lacked that aspect of, you know, non-action scenes, okay? And, you know, Iron Face was just amazing. You could, and another thing that I just liked about the fucking series, man, you could see the struggle, right? And sort of like the journey. Like, when it comes down to Buddhism, alright, because, you know, obviously I consider myself to be a Buddhist, I'm a Buddhist. Uh, you know, I do Buddhist practices, I, have, I, I know, you know, Buddhist mantras and Buddha Dharma and Sangha, which is, of course, mentioned in the damn series, right? You know, in Buddhism, you know, it's, enlightenment is sort of all about a path, you know what I mean? And pretty much throughout the entire series, you see Danny Rand, you see Iron Fist sort of going through like a path, right? Like he's going through a path on every single episode and, you know, the, the character inside of him just keeps developing and developing and developing until at the end, you know, he just sort of masters the path. But then, when he ends his current path, a new path begins. And of course, that was like the season finale, which I loved. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe to join the Sabahai Cartel. Let me know your thoughts on Iron Fist. I mean, even though I said I liked it, I mean, nothing you're gonna say is gonna change that fact, but... I, lo I loved Iron Fist. Iron Fist is fucking awesome. That's probably when I'm gonna title this video. And uh, I hope you guys liked it too. And, um, yeah, just, um, let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below. And if you're worried about spoilers, don't worry, because I'm gonna be checking on that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. See you on the next one.